interesting story about Kanye's artwork supposedly put up for auction and um, surprisingly enough it actually looks pretty decent he mentions you know without you know he doesn't really he doesn't um, hesitate to mention that he went to art college he's an art major he comes from a very um, what's that called a studious background um, house full of intellectuals um, but you don't necessarily see the art that he creates and you always kind of I don't know maybe wrongly you get the impression that Kanye is more of a Steve Jobs than he is of a you know of a Johnny Ive he's probably leading and pointing the design team in the right direction maybe inputting here and there because obviously he has a, a really uh, he has a good taste in that regard he can do that but in terms of actually drawing drafting sketching conceptualizing things you probably didn't think that was the case but judging by the pictures of this from the auction it looks pretty cool so it's a headline here from the root which i'm pretty sure they're not really the biggest fans of kanye with his given his political allegiances right but this is a uh, here it says kanye west's high school artwork uh, is a praise on the antiques road show it's headline from here it says um as you as if you didn't know art has been in kanye's west life for a long time as he's been able to talk, as uh, um, as he's been able to talk about it the rapper producer overall creative was enrolled at chicago's hyde park art academy at asia 4 and of course dropped out of shy towns america how academy when you're studying to receive bfa his decision paid off clearly on a recent episode of antiques Rose show the jesus is king um, mc art portfolio was where from when he was a student at per, uh, polaris high school was featured a pop culture memorabilia collector laura woolley appraised it for quite a pretty penny the exhibitor received the art from a man claiming to be married to his cousin who said he acquired a collection about one year ago after west's mother donna tragically passed away um this is mad isn't it he kind has got one cousin who stole who's what sold his laptop right and then he's got another one who's selling the artwork that he was given by the family i wonder if this has been approved by them or is it something he just took and sold himself <coughs> right, so it continues here says um i think what really attracted me to these pieces is that a lot of the people are probably not aware of how talented he is as an artist outside of music um i think these pieces demonstrate an extraordinary facility as an artist and i select to this of grouping because it shows the different mediums that he was working in which is you know, pretty cool but yeah it's, it's it's really impressive actually the stuff is it's a lot better now with the there is school so by 17 he's already been studying at these extraordinary artistic institutions and my favorite part of this Go to the bit at the beginning here and just view it a little bit. Received them as part of the estate about a year after she passed. So you brought in this collection of artwork that was all done by. Now, this sketch is really good. It's sort of like you wouldn't say graphite sticks, would you? The shading is really good. Very by impressive. Kanye West. You brought with you actually quite a large portfolio. We selected just a few to, to show, but yes. you, you have a great number of them. Yes. I think what really attracted me to these pieces was the fact that a lot of people are probably not aware of how talented he is as an artist outside of his music career. I think these pieces demonstrate an extraordinary facility as an artist, and I selected this grouping um, because it, it shows the different mediums he was working in. On this one we have obviously graphite. This is an unfinished piece, we have graphite again. It looks like we have gouache over there on board, and this is a technique we call scratch board. Uh, where you have color pigment laid down and then you cover it with a black ink and then it's scraped away to create an image underneath. And they're all really exceptionally well done. One of the other cool things you had in this portfolio, because you have so many drawings in there, uh, was this flyer actually advertising his first showing uh, of work. And it was done when he was 17 years old, yes. so we're talking around 1995. Correct. It also mentions that this show was done when he was uh, at the Polaris School. And a number of the pieces in your portfolio are actually identified as Polaris sophomore. Right. Mm -hmm. This flyer is really interesting because it gives the full background of his entire artistic training up until that point. Mm -hmm. And I have to say he has a very impressive resume, right. uh, having attended the Hyde Park Academy from age four, the Art Institute of Chicago, Chicago State University, Nanjing University, and the People's Republic of China. Mm -hmm. He was then at the Polaris School, so by age 17 he's already been studying at these extraordinary artistic institutions. And my favorite part of this uh, flyer is actually at the very end, it says that he, in the fall, will begin his studies to get a Bachelor of Fine Arts at the American Academy of Art in Chicago <laughs> and continue to pursue a career as a music producer as well. Right. That's kind of an aside. So we all know what happened, obviously, mm -hmm. music. Which is pretty cool. I recommend you check it out. It's some really cool pieces in there. And again, um, it's, it, I, I'm assuming a lot of this wasn't stuff that he probably wanted to put out there. I think he's been a bit private with 
Oh, no, he's actually said in interviews. He's quite, he's a more of a show and tell sort of dude. He doesn't really want to put out stuff he's doing or stuff in progress. So it's a very rare insight into some of the artwork that he's done. But I recommend you check it out. There's a lot of really good stuff there. What did, what did it end up fetching for him price, actually? Did I mention it here? It says here, yeah, the pieces included um, an original sketch pad, da 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 da. Um, a flyer that accompanies these pieces listed the prices ranging from $12 to 30 Now, given his precise status, they could potentially sell for anywhere between 16 and 23000 So, again, I think there's a lot of people that collect all the kind of album, original album cover posters and memory merch and all that sort of stuff. But I think if you're a big Kanye fan, this is definitely um, far more interesting to put in your collection than, you know, some merch that you got from the Yeezus tour. This definitely shows kind of, there, there is probably a lot more of what he's doing currently in the work that he's got there than the stuff that he was doing with his albums, I would say. Because this shows, this definitely shows that, you know, the goal in general, it's sort of like a backwards way of doing it. Because usually you would maybe, usually in order to kind of broaden your musical repertoire or range or appeal, you would get into arts once your kind of, your career sort of like tailed off. But he essentially got into contemporary art then decided he went to do music in order to kind of broaden the ability to do more in the art world, which he's kind of kind of done with the installations that he's do with the Sunday service and, you know, the way he thinks about things, conceptualizes his albums and all that sort of funny approaches. So he did it kind of the the other way around, sort of like a upside down, downside in sort of way, which is kind of, you know, does kind of sum up him as a person in general. But I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, some really good, interesting pieces there from the one we call Yay.